guys, it's Team Hard Life, Captain Albert Zertucci here. All right, so I've had one of our customers come in and was asking me about daily possession bag limits. All right, so on that, I've actually gone through and looked online myself because I knew it was the possession limit is two limits if you're fishing past midnight on game fish and non-game fish. Now, there are special regulations on certain fish that you cannot do that with, and you would have to read the manual for that. However, for like redfish and black drum, you know, you can actually start fishing the day of like say one o'clock in the afternoon, and you fish till three or four o'clock in the morning, you can actually keep two possessions for your daily bag, which means redfish, you can end up catching your three before and your three after midnight, and you can actually legally go home with six. Black drum, it'll be five and five, so you end up with 10. Now, years back when they first started implementing the, the rule, I ran into some game wardens that had just moved down and to ensure that we were following the proper way was any fish that we caught before midnight, what we would do is we'd put them into a cooler, or if we had a stringer, we would tie off that stringer and not touch it after midnight. And after midnight, we'd start a new stringer and start adding our fish on there. And the reason for that is because it's obvious a fish on a stringer will start getting beat up and you can tell when one was freshly caught and when one wasn't. However, I just try to make things a little simpler on our behalf to be able to prove everything besides all the pictures we take. I mean, we always take pictures of every fish, but now it's been videos that we take of every fish because we got the YouTube channel. So it's actually kind of made that a little more difficult for us because once we started doing videos instead of pictures, we were actually able to look at our pictures real quick without wasting our battery. But on the phone or on our camera when we're recording, we can't just go back through because, you know, sometimes we're catching multiple fish, you know, so we have to skim through the times and since it's it's a different kind of setup. So it has made it a little more difficult for us to keep a timeline, but it's something that we're also working on too because we still want to be able to tell those timelines between each fish bite. And what I mean by that is sometimes they'll come through and we'll nail four or five fish and then there'll be a dead zone of when they're not there and then they'll start hitting again. Normally after two or three settings of doing that, you can time them out with when the fish will come back to that area and you can actually start catching. And we will also rebait at that time so that way when they come through, they got a fresh array of baits out there that we can catch on instead of worrying about if the perch had actually gotten to them at that time. So that's another thing. A 24 hour period of time that begins at midnight and ends at midnight. So if your day started at one in the afternoon and you fish till three in the morning, you can contain those two daily bag limits. All right, so go down. All right, so right here, possession limits. The maximum number of fish a person may possess may possess before returning to their residence. Possession limit is twice the daily bag on game fish and non-game fish, except as provided in this guide. Does not apply to fish in possession or stored by a person at their residence. So if it's already been filleted up and place into your freezer and stuff like that it's not considered part of your daily bag right here on your possession limit the maximum number of fish a person may possess before returning to their residence possession limit is twice the daily bag on game and non-game fish except as provided in this guide and does not apply to fish possession of or stored by a person at their residence so if you already had stored them and caught them days prior it's not part of a daily bag it's only what you have taken that day and again it, re it also reverts back to when you started fishing if you started fishing at 11:45, that does not mean that you can keep two daily bags it's whatever fish you caught before 12 o'clock midnight then that pertains to your daily bag limit. And so, there you go, guys. So that was one of the main things that I wanted to hit on today's video was about that. So 
And also, too, I wanted to congratulate our winners. We have gotten in contact with all of our winners that went through the YouTube channel. On the winners, if one's going to come pick them up the weekend of that tournament, they've already set the date and replied. The other one, we got one coming in on Saturday, and the next two, I believe, we're going to have to ship out. We're waiting on confirmation from them. So it's awesome. We are finally getting our winners to, to get their prizes and so forth, and we'll continue on. Our next one will be at 2,500 subscribers, so stay tuned for that as we will continue growing. Thanks to everybody subscribing to our channel. Please pass the word. The faster we can grow, the more prizes we can give out, and the more knowledge we can help y'all with and y'all can share with us as well. So thank you very much.